All right, once upon a cat, Jund aristocrats, black, red, once upon a time, whatever you want to call it. So this is a very similar core to the red, black aristocrats deck that's up on my website right now. Only we've splashed green for a couple of questing beasts in the sideboard and a veil of summer, and then four once upon a time in the main deck. So the mana base has 12 green sources in it. And the basic idea is that like cat, priest, mayhem devil, we just like, these are our very important cards. And we want to see them more often. So this card lets us find those cards more often. So I think our rank's still sitting pretty. Yep, yeah, 57. Probably don't have to play the ladder for the rest of the month here, ideally. Is five color Niv possible in standard as a viable deck? Why? Probably not. So the five color Niv archetype in previous seasons was interested in grinding out value. And as long as Field of the Dead exists, you can't grind value over the top of that archetype. It's just not possible. Corvald's expensive and I just don't think it solves any problems that we have. I think I'm bottoming a land here. Cause I need I need a I need a red source for Chandra anyways. Sick. I know I know there was a red source for Chandra in there, but this will hopefully find us a red source. Uh, I mean, if you take 30 seconds and look at the deck list that's on my website, you'll see that there's heart fires in the main deck, I believe. In the, ma in the matchup where Lava Coil's coming in, you want them to be spot removal early and accessibly. What's a good place to sit at to not deteriorate out of the top 1,200? It depends on how long you're looking to sit for. If you're about a week out, top few hundred will usually do. If you're If it's further than that... Nah, probably still not, Distraction Ninja. You can't, like, the Golos deck attacks from lots of Axes, and they ramp way harder than you're going to be able to destroy lands. Yeah, I spent about an hour watching the League game last night. It seems neat. I just don't really have time in my life for another card game at the moment. Huh? Do I just start catting them right away? I think I just start catting them right away, right? All right, first one to a Mayhem Devil wins. What do you think of land destruction the sideboard of Golos is for the mirror? Probably fine. I think Tectonic Rift is sweet because it makes your thing unblockable, makes your board unblockable. Yeah, we have, we have more ovens at the moment and I have a wrinkle to slam down next turn, so. We're going to be like cooking cats on a commercial scale here. I'm going to be honest. I'm not incredibly informed on things surrounding Riot Games because they've never made a game I've been interested in playing before. Yeah, if they're on straight black green, I bet we have a huge leg up here. If they don't if they don't have mayhem devils, like we are super far ahead. It's gonna be a long game with them not passing priority quickly.
And in paper, you just get to be like, all right, I'm going to do the oven thing, change life totals one. When you play a Riot game, you get to choose if you have a 1-1 one -one counter or haste. Excellent. The Stormfish Crusader art is excellent. I think I'm just Chandraing. I guess I could wrinkle and smack them upside the head. Wrinkle, smack them upside the head is probably fine. Have all the cards you could ever want to put in. And you get a card, and you get a card, everybody gets a card. The cat came back. Started playing Myth Guard last night. It's taking a while for me to use some positioning matter. Thanks for the interesting game. It, it really adds a really slick layer to the combat depth, Milbot. Hey, Milbot, if, if you didn't get a treat code yet, drop me a message and I'll send you one. That, that goes for anyone who's been playing Mythgard and hasn't entered a treat code yet for their holiday promo. I have a whole bunch of them. Give you, give you some goodies to get started in the game. I think I think we're going to do some Mythgard at the end of tomorrow's stream. I have to be done today by 2 o'clock, but I think I'm going to run, run a little bit late tomorrow and do some of that after the magic portion. Yeah, DM, DM me on Twitch or Discord, whichever is easier, if you haven't gotten a treat code. I have no idea, Jay Zedette. Wrinkle of your own, yep. Huh? Do they do they want to smack me or do they want to play defense? All right, they're gonna get aggressive. We're kind of gaining more life than them, but I guess we're kind of just treading water too. I could eat some things that aren't that aren't cat and then like pay three to gain pay two mana to gain three. Yeah, that's true. If they make us sack, sacking this cat's not a big deal. So we have another one to start start cooking with. Hey, Donut Otters. Thank you for the biddy. Each player discards. Sure. That's interesting. That means they're worried about their health total, right? Because, like, if they, if they wanted to hammer us, they would. They would, they would make us draw. Oh, oh, that's interesting. Oko or Rankokrats? I don't know. 
I think both those decks are good, and it's definitely more of a playstyle thing. The code, the cards from the teamer deck probably translate into more different things. I also think it's more likely something gets banned from the teamer deck, though. Like, I think, I think there's a non-zero chance they play Whack-A-Mole with some of the one-mana ramp spells. So, like, if you're on the fence about crafting teamer, maybe wait and see what happens on Monday. Well, they'll refund the cards that they ban, but, like, the deck's still going to be different, right? Like, just refunding the cards that they ban doesn't give you a deck that's playable guaranteed, right? That's, that's pretty good. Two cats, three ovens, yep. Am I cracking them with Rankle? Am I cracking them with Rankle? So I have a Drain 3 on tap here. I have a Drain 3 on tap. I feel like I'm a strong favorite to win this if they... Yeah, making them sack a creature is pretty appealing, right? Oh, I should have left black up. I think I'm going to make us draw, right? Nah. Nah, let's just make us both sack. Yeah, because I, I have three and then three, right? So the attack puts them to dead on board. And like, in the event they get some surprise damage out of somewhere, I can pay two and eat the last food instead of bringing the cat back with it. So I have like, five life on tap here. Yep, you ate your dino. Oh, that makes two food. Busted. I wasn't even thinking about that. I always forget that when you when you cook the bigger things, you get more food. Interesting. The racing math in these games is really weird. Yep, there's a goose. So they can get back... They could get back a troll here, but that doesn't heal them. I didn't realize there's a cookie stream could we request recipes. I don't know about that. I don't know if there'll be anything you want to eat. I'm glad they're close. Cook. They could eat the troll, sure. Uh, okay. Yeah, Troll King leaves them dead on board, right? They also shocked in though, so like, they must have a plan, right? Okay. Your preferred Improbable Alliance deck. Yeah, there's actually two Improbable Alliance decks that I like. You can find them up on my website. Click the standard decks button, you'll, you'll see them there. They can cook the goose and gain life. Yep, that is true. Well, they can't gain three anymore. They played a land for the turn, right? Like I have I have six damage on tap, chat. And plus plus this, so we have seven. Oh, they can they can cook their they can their cat can do us twice. Okay. God, the math is really wonky here. So they're 
they're two higher than they actually are, right? So that means they're dead because this does three, then six, then seven. So they're dead on board still. I don't think they counted. I think they just started taking game actions. Yeah, because I have, I have three, then six, then seven. So like even without my draw steps, I just have like seven on board. I mean, Rankle's not going to hit them. Rankle has to hit the opponent to get a trigger. How are they at eight? They're at five plus two, right? They can bring Cap back twice. Yeah, but they don't have another cat. They don't have another cat. They, they can't put their cat into the bin, Marty. They have to be able to sack the cat to bring it back. The counting here isn't super straightforward, to be fair. I think the cat oven in interaction was intentional, a thousand percent. I'm not sure my opponent had good lines this turn. Like, I think we were ahead regardless of what they did, but the lines that they took left them dead on board. Yeah, I agree, T-Banks. The amount of the number of game actions here is, is many. I mean, even without the Crusader, even forgetting the Crusader, like going as low as they did is pretty loose. Yeah, this is, this is game one. My opponents used 10 minutes off their clock. I've used five. Yeah, basically, Tom. We trimmed out we trimmed out four cards and, and played four once upon a time. Yeah, I agree. I think this deck I think this deck that we're playing is great. And I think once upon a time is busted and probably an upgrade. Uh, I'd encourage you to watch the videos, Corey Sushi, especially the wrap-up sections at the end. I talk about things like that in them. Cat Oven is basically Grove Punishing Fire, except they're both spells. It's an important distinction. <laughs> All right. So, uh, huh? What am I? Is claim not good enough here because they can sack their things? Claim does still give my priest taste. That's true. Card's good there. Yeah, I don't think this card's very good in the cat mirror. I don't really have a lot of great cards for the cat mirror, though, either. Maybe maybe we should have... Maybe we should have some some graveyard hate in our sideboard. Could be, could be real. Do they have anything that blocks Questing Beast? Like, they have exactly Troll King that blocks Questing Beast. So I want a couple of Questing Beasts to just kill them. It's like Rankle. Oh, they had Regisaur. That's true. All right, I was going to submit. Although maybe they board out Regisaur in this matchup just because we have cats to block it.
Yeah, our opponent's playing like this weird black green oven brew though, so like they don't have Mayhem Devil. I mean, Graph Digger's cage is symmetrical, chat. So like that stops our cats too. It also stops our Chandra from flashing back spells. So that's probably, that's probably not where I want to be in life. <laughs> yep. This hand's great. Spyglass is also symmetrical. Ginger Brute, yep. Yeah, if you really if you really want to hose this archetype, I think uh I think Leyline's probably what you want. Nice stroll. I think that deck's sweet. I'm glad it's getting some more glad it's getting some more coverage. Fantastic. So our lands are a little bit painful here. The downside to playing this build that we're playing is that our lands do hurt us. Like these stomping grounds in the two color build would be basic mountains. So we would we would be plus four health this game. So that's something relevant to keep track of and think about while we're playing. Well, they're currently missing black mana, kinda. They have Gilded Goose, I guess. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yep. Yep, that's, uh, yep. Yep. That's a good one. Alright, so, um, hmm. Do we just oven? Do we like oven tapped land? Yeah, I think it I think it's just oven tapped land. I don't think I wanna shock for once. Nah, I'm gonna shock for once. I think we're I think with the oven we're at high enough life that that's fine. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna bring the claims back in, because taking taking this and this are both very good, right? Yeah, Mayhem, Mayhem Devil's gonna punch the clock and go to work next turn for sure. This thing doesn't even trample, right? Yeah, it's just a 7-7. Seven, seven. No reach, no trample. What kind of giant are you? Um... I guess, I guess I take that. How many more matches am I asking? Man? I plan to play for another hour or so. I'm going to murder this goose to hurt their mana. Have I mentioned how busted Mayhem Devil is in this deck chat? I feel like I haven't. I, 
wouldn't have seen the line for keeping cat after the devil is down. Yeah, yeah, you should you should never get your cat back on their end step unless you plan to attack with it. Because you could draw Mayhem Devil the following turn. The Great Henge, sure. This line does leave them Legion's End. That's true. That's a good observation. We did not see Henge game one. Their build's kind of neat. Their keep this game was a little medium. Meow. Meow. They have a 2 2 cat. Let's uh, let's kill the cat, shall we? Nah, actually, I shouldn't, right? Yeah, whatever. We have a two-two cat. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they have multiple henge. They have troll, beauty, and the beast, and the giant card. So, like, they have a lot of ways to make this cheaper. Yeah, mayhem, mayhem, devil meat makes each cycle on the witch's oven deal three, which is super strong. Ping the cats, they have to sack the giant rankle. Mmm, that's probably a good observation. I think there's a good like if they have any food though, that doesn't work. I don't I don't know. I, I'm on the other side of things, chat, I'm not really sure that there's gonna be a wrong way to eat this Rhesus, if you know what I mean. I feel like I feel like we've kind of got dealer's choice. Yeah, see, like, killing the cat there would have just drawn them more cards, right? This deck's great. I think the green splash is good. This deck without the green splash is great. I think splashing for once is right. This card. This card, I, I tend not to give super strong opinions on things, especially when they're newer, but I think this card was a mistake. I think, I think printing this card was a mistake. This card, this card is very good. Yeah, the free spell was probably a mistake. Weird, I know. Strong, strong assertion from Hoagland. Yeah, I mean, they're going to draw a lot of cards here. All right, so we're going to kill this goose. So that way Rankle can hit them next turn. Because Rankle, Rankle hitting them deals a bunch of damage. Here's, here's an interesting thought. Would Once Upon a Time be better or worse if you couldn't cast it for free, but it always cost one mana? Is it is it better or worse? It's probably better, right? How do I even hold all of these cards, chat? How do I how do I even hold all of these cards, chat? Need more control. Just let me 
burn. Just let me burn. Are they dead? I think they might be close to dead. So this puts them to five. And then <coughs> I can... This puts them to five. So sure, sure, they're at... at no, it's still, it's still five because they lose one. And then the second, the second Chandra is lethal, right? Because I can play second Chandra and she's worth two points. Because I can sack this, bring it back, that's three. And then this is two more. Anyone need a match? No. Too bad. Don't worry. I brought hey, thanks for the tip, Python. I will check that in just a minute. Yeah, so this does, this puts them to two and then we're over by one here, right? Because all these sacrifice. I don't, I don't know why people don't play Chandra in this archetype. There's a lot of people that are playing this cat oven thing and not playing Chandra, so I just don't get it. When playing this four color Oko Goose Wolf Corvold to great success, Shocklands do a lot of damage, but I haven't really had problems with Goose and Paradise Shirts let it in. Yeah, yeah, we actually, we're going to be playing four color oven coming up again soon. I think tomorrow or, the, or Friday. That was, uh... That was a long first match. That was, uh, that was a long first match. One more clown in the town. Thank you for the seven months, Giant. Hope you're having an excellent day wherever you are. That was, that was a two game match. Yes, yeah, I could have gotten one more. I didn't realize I could kill them that turn. So I wasn't quite in maximized damage mode, but you're, you're correct. This is going to be the last deck of the day. Yep. Usually, usually I'm going to be ending about uh, two o'clock or so most days. There, thereabouts. Friday, Friday I'm going to be ending early though, so I can watch um, Golos the mirror matching. The title of this deck, I didn't realize I could kill them this turn. That is, that's accurate. It is, that is very, very accurate. Well then, huh. Um, well. Do I just Midnight Reaper or do I like Priest and hope it can live? I could go priest, cat. The priest is like pretty likely to die because we've been feeding them cards though, right? I think I think it's priest, cat. It's like smack them for two here. We are allowed to restream, so maybe I'll do that for a little bit Friday morning. But I also I also don't. Uh, yeah, see that's unfortunate. See, like I could have waited. And like claimed my priest to give it haste was an option. There's something to think about there. Hmm. Oh, they'd kill it in response with their sorcery. Is that is that the line we're going with? It's the, that's the hill we want to die on this morning. All right, so I'm at a virtual six here. So we're dead to a removal spell. No, that's not true because I can jump block. 
I think we're dead to removal. I don't know. Figure my opponent could figure it out. We're dead to a hell kite. I think we're dead to removal. Ah, yes. The tank tank play the lethal haste threat. Actually, am I, am I not dead to that? I get to do this, and then I take four, five, six, seven. I am not dead, actually. I'm not dead. I'm not dead. We're going to one. So if I claim Zerta, they just block. Oh, oh yeah, they're dead. They're dead. This deck's great. This card's great, by the way. All right, all right. Nothing but net. This card, this card's very good, by the way. This card, this card is absurd. Play, play four of this one. <clears throat> all right, so stop me if this sounds crazy. Um. Am I supposed to cut this? She's not great against Questing Beast, and my Priest is frequently going to die, right? Yeah, this is the last deck. That's why it's the only deck in the stream title, chat. Okay. And then what else are we supposed to trim here? Getting Active Treason in my deck might be okay. Yeah. Yeah. Is Midnight Reaper not good enough? It could just be that I want to cut some Once Upon a Time. <clears throat> Do I want to be more controlling on the draw? It could be that I want to be more controlling on the draw. What do we, what do we think of this? We have like nine removal spells. That might be too many. I don't know. I could go either way there. You think Wrinkle's good? Maybe they have dragons. I guess it closes in the air. All right, we'll, we'll split the difference. We'll go two and two. No, you don't cut cat. Stop it. Underpexed, thank you for the 11 months of support. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me around. Oh, red cap. Yeah, red cap's probably a good one. I agree. Oh, no. Oh, no. They hit mayhem, devil chat. I feel like we're dead. I feel like we've died. I do, I do get a food. Vomit. All right, so this has to happen and then I'm gonna concede when they play Questing Beast next turn. Claim would have been absurd there. It would have like claimed their thing, hit their Dom, resacked it. I guess it only takes me 30 seconds to finish dying here.
All right, so we want to hit them, and then we let the trigger happen, and then we sack it to oven in response to the thing, yeah? That's true. If they're out, if they're out of gas, we're not dead. And if they're not out of gas, we're probably dead on their turn, so it just takes a second to find out. Da -da -da -da. They were not out of gas, yep. That's, that's the expectation, right? Your red cat melee actually sounds good. I think this card's sweet. I think this card should see a little bit more play. Playing priest and sacking a food could have been an option. Nah, that's that's playing to not lose. I drew that so lucky. Hashtag never lucky. What if I cut this card in this matchup? Is that crazy? Maybe maybe that's the cut I've been looking for. That's 18 creatures. This priest is good without Chandra. Yeah, priest is fine. Well, I could have mayhem double by mistake. Oops. Um, uh, you could play Drill Bit, Garden Variety Troll. The red black build plays Drill Bit. It's possible the veils on the sideboard are stupid. I don't know. Half the time you duress, half the time you duress these decks though, and then they just draw it off the top because the ramp deck's full of bombs. So like, the pretty feel bad card that doesn't do anything in a lot of situations, anyways. No, Murderous Rider is much better against aggro, and Murderous Rider, you can find you can find Murderous Rider with Once Upon a Time. Right, well, the kill all the things plan seems to be in effect here. They didn't play a thing, so the question is like, do they have like lava coils and stuff of their own here? This is the scene right before the accident. Dead to dragons, come on, boy. Running hot, running hot. Hopefully, I said like a bunch of Domri's ambushes in their hand. Pretty kitty. <clears throat> I'd like to reflect that removal spells are much less offensive than counter spells and discard. At least your, at least your thing got to come into play with my removal spell. You see how he very skillfully didn't crack this? And then we drew the Mayhem Devil. Oh yeah, you got my cat. It's dead. <clears throat> Unless they draw running removal spells here, this game feels pretty over. Anyone know offhand what Matt and Mythgard is? I forget what it stands for, but it's basically points that you accrue for, um, they're points that you accrue for pressing the thumbs up button at the end of a match. If you, if you and your opponent both press the thumbs up button, you both get rewards. I 
Excellent. Excellent. Do 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 do. Asserted from YouTube, and now I watch your streams when I can. The five dollars is worth it then. Still one hundred percent now. Thanks for the twenty-seven months, B Mick. Welcome back. I appreciate you keeping around. I haven't done. I haven't done a shillion today. How are we doing, folks? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good night to everybody wherever you're out in the world. Thanks for dropping in here today. If you're a new viewer, my name is Jeff Hoagland. I stream Magic and other card games full-time here on Twitch. I'm usually here 30, 40, sometimes even 50 hours a week. If you're someone that enjoys Constructed, this is definitely the channel for you. We play a ton of different decks every day. Usually we change decks every 60 minutes to two hours. We get a lot of variety in my stream always. I'd love to give a shout-out to my wonderful subscribers. I wouldn't be here didn't get without their support, so thanks to all of them for keeping me employed. I'd also like to plug a couple of my wonderful sponsors here. The Vitamin String Quartet creates unique instrumental string arrangements of everything from Zelda to Zeppelin, and they would love to underscore your next gaming session. You can find them streaming now on services such as Spotify and Apple Music. BCW Supplies are the only ones I trust to protect my physical trading cards. Using code Hoaglandia at bcwsupplies.com, you can save 10% on sleeves, binders, deck box, and all sorts of other fantastic gaming accessories there with them. Cardsphere.com is a peer-to-peer -peer trading network that would love to help you turn your cards into other cards directed to the players. There's no haggling, and they just take a 1% fee off the top. And of course, the Nerd Rage Gaming Championship Series, a $5,000 cash tournament series that happens every single month in the Midwestern United States. If you can't make it out to the Midwest to play in one of their standard, modern, or legacy tournaments, be sure to check out their streaming coverage as well at twitch.tv forward slash NRG series. Don't make your life garbage time. Join us in Hoaglandia today by subscribing to Jeff Hoagland with Twitch Prime today. All right, all right, into the into the queue. Two and zero with once upon once upon an aristocrat. Yes, yeah. If you're going to subscribe, don't do it through the mobile app with money. You get charged an extra dollar every month if you do, because the the app store takes a cut of any money that goes through them. All right, and we're going to keep this hand because this once upon a time is a black source. This hand is keepable because this once upon a time is a black source. See? Got just got to just got to be it's all about confidence, chat. It's all it's all about the confidence. You can't the once upon a time it can smell fear, chat. Don't don't let it know you're scared. If it knows you're scared, it's gonna get you. Stormfist, speaking, speaking of no fear, Stormfist Crusader into turn one basic mountain. Just like, what up? Nice, Red Link. Yeah, a couple other people mentioned uh, how my stir did that. Fairy Vandal. Well, that's rude. I'm looking forward to taking that away from you soon. My poor, my poor cat. Oh, <laughs> these are, these are going to trigger their fairy vandal. Hey, Percy, thanks for doling out some sub gifties. I appreciate the support. Thanks for keeping me around. Watch them play the, the O4 here. Bumping Mardu Knight sounds fantastic. Will do. Wrinkle pass? No way. I'm going to eat them here, and then next turn I can go wrinkle claim. Like, if they leave both of these in play, they're going to a virtual three. Didn't, didn't draw an oven, hashtag never lucky. This 
Sweet, Percy. You're still playing this card, right? I saw a bunch of people at the Mythic Championship were not playing this card, and I really just don't get it. That's a little annoying, but I believe they're still dead. All of the firstborns are belong to me. All of the firstborns are belong to me, chat. They belong to me. Step into step into my office. All right. So I know that this card just worked out incredibly well there but I'm, pr I'm pretty sure we're supposed to board it out. Pretty, pretty sure we're supposed to board that one out. How long until giving your first board becomes a deck submission requirement, right? I think I like this. Do I trim these because I don't want to have the liability of losing life? This seems, this seems fine. What do we think of this configuration? I think I like this. I think I want Ryder. What am I, what am I trimming though? I don't really have anything great to trim. Rankle's actually probably pretty poopy, huh? This like gets blocked by lion's tokens. Yeah, let's do that. I think beast is good because they're not going to be able to block it frequently. I think beast is better than wrinkle here. Like they have the the flying creature that grows out of control. <laughs> in hand has exodia in it. Keep. This deck is gonna make me get out my credit card and buy more stuff. You're welcome, Watsy. Appreciate me. Two card Exodia, yep. Am I? Yeah, it's, it's dumb to just play this here. I was going to play this tapped and pass. We have red cap in the event that they like. Play the 04 out or like have a Drake. Yup. They might have uh they might have the instant speed discard a card draw to. No, I don't want the cat to die to a shock. Or like a bone crusher giant. I think we're dead. Little Bobby Mayhem was on top of the deck, boy. Little little Bobby Mayhem was ready to go.
Those were uh, Displate, are the, the artworks. F2K gets you 15% off. And then some of the ones that I had and some others that I liked are linked on my, uh, my what's it called? Oh, I should have fetched red there. Yeah, if we hit another oven or another devil, we should be okay. Should have, should have fetched red chat. I guess, I guess I can Murderous Rider this now so I can get that into play to start attacking. That doesn't seem unreasonable. Hey, thanks for the eight months, Sir Phil. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me around. <laughs> um, let's do this now. Do I keep checking these Fey or do I just start facing now that they took four? I think we just start facing now, right? That code didn't work, Captain Command. Uh, do you have, did you already enter a treat code this season, Captain Command? If you'd entered another code that had treat at the start of it, only one will work per account. They sent, they sent out similar codes to their email list. Send me send me another direct message and I'll send you a different one. Wargy Corgi, thanks for doling out some sub-gifties. I appreciate that. Welcome. Thanks for keeping me around. Hope you're having a good one wherever you are. What is a treat code for the Mythgard game that I uh, recently partnered with? We're going to start adding some of them into my regular stream time. They sent me a bunch of uh, treat codes for a holiday promo. So if you pick that game up or want to poke at it a little bit, it's good for some free stuff in there. Anybody, anybody out there who didn't hear me offer that earlier, feel free to drop me a message and I'll hook you up with one of those. Sounds good, Wargy. The Mythgard game too, if you haven't tried it, if you didn't hear me talk about it, they also do these things called feature decks that are really awesome, where you can play a competitive constructed deck without owning any of the cards in it. If you're interested in the Mythgard code, drop me a DM either here on Twitch or on Discord, and I'll send you one in the next, uh, in the next little bit. Yes, red cap, red cap triggers melee if you don't hit a red thing. There should probably be more red caps in my sideboard. Believe it, believe it or not. Well, so everyone does get different feature decks, Snuggle Bear. So not everyone has the same ones. And they the feature decks rotate <coughs> twice per week, which is also awesome. So not, so not everybody has the same ones. Well, that's awkward. <clears throat> yeah, they, they rotate on Mondays and Fridays. That way people don't have to play a bunch of mirror matches with the featured X. The devs on that game are really smart. A lot of their, a lot of their little features like that are quite excellent. Yeah, Mythgard has much, much lighter system requirements than Magic Arena. Mythgard, Mythgard runs on mobile. So like, if it runs on your cell phone, it'll run on your laptop. The resource system is very well done. The best way to describe Mythgard, it feels like they took all the best parts about Magic and Hearthstone and got rid of all the bad parts.
All right, so I'm going to sack this one for food, and then we kill one of these, and then we eat the other two. If you haven't seen me stream it before, there's some videos of it on my YouTube channel. And then we'll probably, we'll be doing more of it as part of my regular stream starting next week. <clears throat> yeah, I agree, Ghosted. The way you can only have one Mythic and two Rares makes budget decks a lot, a lot more competitive, which is nice. I don't have a strict tutorial video for Mythgard, but any of my YouTube videos start with me explaining the basics of the game. Yeah, definitely, Wargy. Feel free to drop me an email. Uh, are they dead? This is lethal, right? Actually, just, just the cat's lethal. Because the cat does three. I think there should be more red caps in the board. I didn't even think that this works with Mayhem Devil. If you can't figure out how to DM me right now, I promise you can do it later and still get one. I've got a bunch of them. Is Mythgard replacing some Modern Mornings or strictly after standard? It's going to replace some Modern Mornings. I'm going to go down to doing to doing just three days of Modern per week. Both both Modern and Magic Online have been really wearing on me of the late. I feel I feel like I'm more pissed off when we're playing Modern lately. And until until that changes, I'm going to dial back how much we're doing. Yeah, yeah, Discord, Discord works too. Discord or Twitch, whichever is easier for you. Never played Legacy or Vintage on stream. We have in the past, but it's just not very popular as far as content is concerned, so it's not something that happens consistently. What is going to be my standard MTJ schedule here in the near future? Approximately the same as it is now. You can always see my schedule on my website. So I have I have next week up there listed with some Mythgard. Uh, fit it in so you can see approximately what it's going to be. But basically, two days a week, I'm going to start and end standard a little bit earlier. So I'll start with standard right at 7 a.m. when I go live and then run until about noon or so. Yikes, Basic Mountain. <laughs> All right, this hand, is, this hand is really bad against Basic Mountain. Cat? Cat? None of those are a cat. Um... All right, I'll take the I'll take the land that doesn't hurt me, I suppose. They are into the frozen sky. I and part of it too is I think some other creators have kind of burnt out a little bit. I've been one of the one of the only bigger people on during the day for a little bit now. Well, they swung and they missed there, so that's real good for us. So I guess we just played the This is gonna like help them get out of this, but I also just like need the blocker here. Which is not which is not great. So hopefully hopefully they miss again this turn. Would be would be ideal. Nice taco pizza. Yeah the the blue dredge deck is like such a phenomenal just like proof of concept basically of like this is like one of the most awesome things you can do in this game basically. 
Because those those types of games. Yeah, I agree. I agree, boss. If they're if they're shocking, that that is definitely that is definitely a good a good thing for us. I feel like Chandra eating it there is good for us too. Um, ha. Huh. So with Rankle in hand, I think I'm gonna go tap land Chandra, push her to five. And then if they can't kill her, next turn I can go Rankle, make tokens, hit you, we both sacrifice, which seems great for us. So this is this is the part where they end their we end their whole career, right? Because we just shock this land in, and then we take a creature and then make us both sack. I'm killing the abbot. Well, our hand was not great in this matchup, but their hand was very bad. So, you know, deal. I don't think I'm making a straw. I think it's just both players sacrifice. The first board has been thoroughly claimed. So do this, attack you. Uh, I should do this first. Whew! Yeah! Yeah, I should. Yeah, I should do that first. Oh, oh, I could have claimed. I probably missed lethal. I was, I was too excited. Sorry, I, I apologize. I was too excited. Yeah, we definitely missed lethal there, right? Maybe, I don't know. I'm not counting. We're good. The game is over. It's gonna take us another turn, but the game is, the game is over. Is, uh, believe it or not, adding ancient stirrings to our creature deck seems like it was good. Yeah, I, I'm gonna go up to two red caps after this league for sure. Uh, let's cut Storm Fist and let's cut Midnight Reaper. I'm gonna trim it once. This is my favorite iteration of this deck. Something close to this. I think I like Once Upon a Time. I think I like Once Upon a Time. Some of the some of the details on the sideboard I'm not sure are great. Like, I don't know if Questing Beast is necessary. I'm pretty sure I don't like the Veils. I wouldn't mind a couple of Drill Bits getting back in. I want another, I want another Red Cap melee. What is Veil for? I don't know. The person who threw it together just put some Veils in there. I think, I think like the matchup for that type of effect is good. We don't really need the help. Yeah, I think sneaking a castle in is greedy. I think you, you really want your lands to come into play untapped. We're splashing a third color to add consistency once is a horrendous design. You're not wrong. Once is probably a card that shouldn't exist. I, I think I like, honestly... Even if we don't want the green cards in the sideboard, I think this is worth the addition. Like, this is a deck that very clearly wants to see the same creatures every game. And getting a bunch more looks at those is, uh, is ideal. <laughs> I 
Yeah, yeah, I, I agree with that, Marty. We are on the edge of being a combo deck and one spine. And it makes these murderous riders better post board. I think I just want Rider here. It finds, it finds Doomblade, right? Like. If you want a build of this deck with less rares in it, the build without the splash color is on my website. I think that build's still very reasonable. I think once once feels like a power boost, but it's still good. It's still good without it. I if I'm being honest, I can't believe how many people registered decks for the Mythic Championship this weekend without four copies of once in it. Like it's it's just it's crazy to me how many people just didn't register four copies of this card. What did we cut for once? The build without once is playing Bone Crushers in the main deck. <sighs> um, I think I'm gonna do this plus once here. I might I might be right to just play a two three life linker out. People didn't like preordain an early Cobblade standard. That's wild. Um, I think I'm just in for another cat here, huh? Cat lets me go. Lava coil plus cat. Once does find Bone Crusher. You're not wrong. I'm not sure if Midnight Reaper is necessary in this deck. It might not be. It's a card I've been a little on the fence about. I think the two-color build had four wrinkle in it as well, but I definitely don't think we need four wrinkle. Well, if there was one card they could have played to potentially be in this game, that's definitely it, right? It was the best last, last card they could have. It's like okay with Cat Oven, but like, you're generally winning those games anyways, is the thing. So it's like, is it really that much of an upgrade? I don't know what Forever Young is, Squid Squad. So I'm going to say no. Okay, that's a good draw. If they don't draw a way to hit Wrinkle next turn... Oh, and the drawing's one-sided now. That's great. Yes, you just... Frenzy just prevents you from playing cards that are in your hand. So you can play cards that are on an adventure. I wonder if they have a Lava Coil here. If they have a Lava Coil, you might see them blow Frenzy. Wow. All right. Deal. All right, they're down to four here. Interesting. Their hand must be so bad, they just, like, have to hope to hit it off the top here. It's not... It's not a well-tested frenzy. It is... It is experimental, chat. Don't for... Don't forget. It is extremely experimental. There's no way they're not dead here with just three mana, right? Even if they have, like, Flame Sweep, they're dead to Wrinkle. It's a release-ready frenzy. <laughs> oh, oh, that's good. That's...
that mmm mmm release ready frenzy We 3 0 or 4 0 now? 4 0. I think I'm going to work on this archetype for the MCQ2. I don't know. I, I'll probably play the teamer deck again, but like, this, this deck is like gasoline. If they ban one mana accelerants, I'm definitely working on this deck. I think there's, think there's a chance they ban. They ban, uh. They ban a one mana accelerant. In. We have Cat, we have Oven, we have Priest, we have Mayhem Devil. Like. That, they could, they could ban this card. This card is not an unreasonable ban. Nothing but net, chat. Nothing but net. <laughs> and again, to look at this hand and think about it, we dug for the Mayhem Devil, but if if we'd been playing if we'd been playing two colors, these would be swamps and wouldn't be hurting us, right? So like it is not it is not completely free to have this splash that we have. Yeah, we could we could be dead here. I that is something I said earlier, K Dog, but that doesn't mean they couldn't ban it. It's still an incredibly powerful card. So I'm taking uh, 10 here. What's our best draw here? Like a fetch land? Okay. Oh, uh -huh. we're halfway there. Oh, uh -huh. living on a prayer. Take my hand. We'll make it, I swear. Oh, dee 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 dee. We could we could die to a burn spell off the top here, but I think I like going to two effectively. I dropped once and added four paradise to it. It's been going very well. I I agree. The teamer deck's so good that you can add you can cut the good cards and add a bunch of bad cards and it's still really good. I I agree with you. The deck is fantastic enough that you can jack it up like that and it'll still be fantastic. Well that card's not very good here, huh? Yikes. Sporkle Motion, thank you for the tier two. I appreciate that. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for keeping me around. Hope you're having a good one wherever you are. 
Alright, dead to anything. Please play a fifth land. That's not true. We're, some of their one-drop creatures don't kill us here. Dead to any burn spell, though. Um... Are we not dead to that? I could have I could have played around that too. So if I'd have, if I'd have done, if I'd have killed their X one, we'd be in this game still. This dojo does not contain fear, chat. It is, however, dead to Tin Street Dodger. It is, it is, however, dead to Tin Street Dodger. So if I, if I would have, yeah. So if I would have played around Heartfire, I think we would have won that game, which is pretty impressive, honestly. If I'd, have killed, if I'd have killed their X1 on our turns, so they would have had to sacrifice a Steamkin. I then wouldn't have lost the Mayhem Devil, and then I wouldn't have been dead to that Dodger off the top. It's pretty sick. Yeah, I think we just trim Midnight Reapers and Tormfish Crusaders here. Seems good. <laughs> We're, de we're definitely feeling our mana base in this matchup, that's for sure. Woof. We draw an untapped land next turn. This fabled passage gets to trigger our mayhem devils, which is a big deal. Vomit. All right, so we'd love to draw a claim the firstborn here. So we can go cat, claim your thing, make you sack the other thing. Assuming the priest lives, the priest might get skewered here though. Hopefully she's like light up the stage. Yeah, she's dead. Unfortunate. Hey, that's a land. It's so a 3 3. Your move. <laughs> yeah, Fervent, Fervent Champion is very, very good. Yikes. Take him out by the kneecaps, eh? Alright, they're almost out of gas. We're going back up to five here. I wonder if I can get away with fewer green lands in this deck. I feel like I can. Can I can I cut green lands? I wonder what the I wonder what the minimum is. Wow. That's that's a choice. 
I'm blocking there so I don't die to another slaying fire. Man, that's like always their last card, huh? Land, land frenzy. Like, yep, all right, sure. Why, why wouldn't it be? Yeah, if we like cut the questing beasts and like just, just splash for once. I think I want like two more basics. Scale of one to dead, where are we at here? I'd be surprised if we beat Frenzy for a second time today. We're still pretty high at this point. It's gonna be tough to race down. Any standout moments for you from the debate yesterday? Yeah, the biggest standout moment was the fact that there's still 12 egotistical turns up there. Half of, half of them need to bow out, maybe more. In fact, there's still 12 people on the debate stage means a bunch of those people are letting their egos get in the way of what's best for the country. Yikes. Was it 11? I thought there were 12. There's a bunch of people up there that are trying to just like generate name recognition. Who decides who on the stage and who isn't? Well, in my opinion, the people who very clearly are pulling at next to nothing, but are still still getting up there for whatever reason, those people should be bowing out at this point. There's like three that have a real shot. There's like five if you stretch, maybe six. If, if I was picking, I would have had uh, Biden, Warren, Sanders, uh, Yang, Harris, and Buttigieg, probably. And maybe Yang and, Yang and, like, those last three are, like, like, obviously Biden, Warren, and Sanders should be there, but, like, those other three are, like, the only ones that are, like, kinda, maybe, could go either way. Booker, Booker doesn't have the stats to be up there. His policies are whatever. He doesn't have the stat the stats to be up there. He doesn't it does not belong. He's against microtransactions. <laughs> Alright, well our claim the firstborn's got a lot worse. We're talking about the Democratic debate that happened last night. Um, yeah. You like the, you like the, the straight when you when you make that play in paper, you just gotta look them dead in the eye. You can't you can't let them know. You can't let them know that. Uh, yeah, Steyer Steyer is like the worst of the worst in my opinion, because like not only is he a billionaire, but like he could have spent all that money he wasted to be on the stage and not be relevant, like doing some actual good in the world. So in in my opinion, he's like the most offensive of them all. I'm gonna go AFK. Thanks for the 12 months. I appreciate that. Welcome. Have a have a sword for when you're not AFK here. Would vote for Trump. I'm one of those people that want to watch the world burn. Well, you can watch it burn somewhere not in my chat. Don't let the door hit you in the backside on the way out. You can always spot the privilege on the way out the door. <sighs> I 
Could have killed Chandra with the claim. Oh, that's a good observation. I didn't think about that. Yeah, I should have killed their Chandra with the claim. I think we're, I think we're dead here. I guess my claim lets me kill their mayhem double next turn. Yeah, the opponent's like also running on empty. <laughs> Oh, I can just kill their mayhem devil, right? Are there triggers pointing at my priest? Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna kill I'm gonna kill their mayhem devil. And I'm going to send this point upstairs because I'm going to attack their thing for lethal. Oh, right. This happens. When they asked my thoughts of the justice system, I said, where do I start? <laughs> Ooh. I mean, a lot of the Democratic candidates, almost all of them, are talking about uh, electoral reform, at least as far as the Electoral College goes. That, that old and archaic system. There are, there are some Democrats pushing to end gerrymandering. The good ones, the good ones are pushing to end gerrymandering. All right, well, how do we sideboard? How do we, how do we sideboard? I did say they all, see they all endorse Bernie. I hope Bernie picks a not crappy VP candidate so I can feel good and vote for him. So until he has a not crappy VP candidate, I won't vote for him. The veils prevent mayhem double triggers. That's true. That's, that's actually kind of funny. What am I cutting though? I feel like I have too much crap. This card ever living? Dex perfect 69 cards. I mean, we have once upon a time to find lands, right? I'm gonna cut Storm Fist on the draw. Midnight Reaper is probably a liability. Don't want him to pull a Hoagland on us. I mean, the DNC doesn't have a system lined up like super delegates like last time. They changed they changed the system after 2016. Well, while gerrymandering is an issue, all things considered, it's pretty, it's pretty far down in the list of like things that need to be addressed ASAP, in my opinion. There's a lot, a lot of other things. I mean, like, so like people are complaining about the two party system. What you need to understand is that the Democrats are basically multiple parties at this point. If you look at like People, a great example is like people like Joe Biden and Bernie Sanders or like um, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and uh, the Speaker of the House right now. Like those people in a perfect world should not be in the same political party. But they are because of how because of how the American politics works.
All right, well, unless they also have a Mayhem Devil, we should take them to uh, a very brutal place next turn. Yeah, I, I agree, Population Zero. The, the Republican Party stays alive based on ignorance and single-issue voters at this point. Yeah, the fact that, like, D.C. and Puerto Rico don't, aren't states is, like, real wild. All right. Sometimes you just want to watch the world burn a little bit, huh? Need a little mayhem, baby. Okay, so do they do they have another oven here then? Yeah, they don't if they don't have another oven, they can't kill my mayhem devil now. And I'm looping this through now because I don't want them to be able to uh I don't want to take damage when I do all of this. And then we're gonna finish with the cat in the graveyard. Because I don't want my cat to get killed and then not have a food. So have my firstborn. Yeah, opponent, opponent made a pretty big oopsie there. And if my if my opponent hadn't sacrificed their cat, I would have killed my own mayhem devil, I think. I think. That, that's some FUD. The real problem is not enough moderates on the left anymore. If you don't think Joe Biden's a moderate, you are further on the right than you think. Joe Biden is, is borderline center right when you look at him in, compared to other countries. Just like the people, the people that think that I hear that crap about there's not enough Democrats in the center and they're making me vote Republican? No, you, there are people in the center. You just don't like the center. That's 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 the reality. Get informed and look around. And you'll you'll see that that's very much the truth. All right. So simple change I just made there to start was I'm cutting two of the green shock lands. I think. Compared to start with, I want to cut a couple of the shock lands because I think we're getting, I want to cut these green cards. Comparing left versus, nope, see, again, see, if you're going to tell me I'm wrong, and believe me, I'm wrong all the time, ask my wife, you got to tell me why I'm wrong. Comparing conservative versus progressive on a global scale instead of just inside of the, the, the racist, hateful people that voted for Trump in the United States, like that that it makes sense. You should compare globally. You shouldn't just look inside, look inside what you're doing there. Doesn't allow for reasonable debates. So, so here's the thing though. There's a lot of things in the world where there's not a reasonable debate. When, when you tell me, we, you listed gay marriage as one of your things we can't have a reasonable debate on. There's two sides to the gay marriage argument. People who want folks to be able to be married to the people that they love regardless of who that is and fucking bigots. 
And you can't have a reasonable debate with fucking bigots. You don't, you don't engage in good faith with people who are xenophobic and racist and homophobic. And you just can't. There's no middle ground. What's the middle ground between kids in cages and kids not in cages? Kids in dog collars? Like, there are so many of these issues where, like, they're just the people. Hi, I am an enlightened centrist, and I can I can integrate and talk with anybody on any issue. And just know there is there is right and there is wrong. And in some in some cases, there are people who are just rude and hateful, and they're just wrong. Is it? Yeah, it's the same thing with climate change denial. The climate skeptics. There, there, there's not a discussion there. Climate change is real. It's a very real crisis that's gonna impact my children and your children and my grandchildren hopefully like that like it's just it's mind-boggling the both sides nonsense is crap and if you aren't aware every time you bring up both sides that is a pro-republican statement the only people that benefit from both sides arguments are people on the right because it obscures and detracts from focusing on the actual issues, this idea that there's the same amount of extremism on both sides. It's nonsense. I came here for magic content. Yeah, have a ban. Have a ban. Guess what? This is my channel, and I'll say whatever I want to say. And if you don't like it, don't let the door hit you in the backside on the way out. Shut up! Shut up and dribble! Shut up and play! Shuffle the cards! Shuffle the cards! What if I- what if I shuffle cards? What if I shuffle cards while I rant? Is that okay? Am I allowed to shuffle cards while I rant? Look, I- I get it. I get it that a lot of- a lot of people think it's not a big deal and you just need to ignore it. But like, my kindergartner had a fucking lockdown drill at the start of the year in case there was a shooter in his elementary school. Like, like if you don't, like, that, it's so, like, it's just, it's bigger. It's bigger than me, and it's bigger than, it's bigger than all of these things. It's important to, like, talk about them on occasion. Whenever, whenever you're afraid to engage on topics, like, you know, Silence helps the oppressor, never the oppressed, right? And like, while the main topic and focus of what I do here on this stream is never going to be all politics, we're, we're mostly magic, right? But like, I think addressing the important issues on occasion and encouraging people to, encouraging people to like get informed and like be, be involved and like make change, that's, that's how that happens. Thanks for the subs, folks. We have Monty Python in there. We have Medium Spoon with the brand new one. Tardy and Gate with the brand new one. Roadkill checking in for 24 months at tier three. I appreciate it. All right, uh, to wrap on this, and I I went full rant there at the end because I was done for the day. This was this was our last deck. This deck was this deck was awesome. Um, so I didn't go to a public school growing up. I was homeschooled, and then I started college at 16. So I never experienced those. Shavri, thanks for the brand new tier one sub. All right, so to wrap here concisely, Once Upon a Time is busted. This card's very good. Wombat Fever, thanks for the brand new tier one sub. Welcome. And if you're like-minded folks who want to talk about politics and stuff too, make sure you pop into the Discord. We have a political dark place channel in there where I engage and other people engage and stuff like that. Like, we talk about it all the time there. So this is mostly magic. But if you want to talk about more stuff like that, we have a Discord where we hang out. Um... The mana base was a little bit painful with all the shock lands that we played. And I think if we cut the green cards from the sideboard and are just playing once upon a time as the only green card, I think we can get away with 10 green sources. Like, I need to run the numbers on that, but like, the first one's free. And like, by the time we need to pay mana for this, we'll likely have green with just 10. Thanks to the biddies, folks. F-Dragon and F-Scruffed. As far as the sideboard goes, I'm going to be completely honest. I didn't realize or I didn't think about the fact that this triggers Mayhem Devil on its downside. So, like, I think this card, I had one copy of this card in my sideboard even when I wasn't thinking about that. But, like, the fact that this lets you trigger Mayhem Devil because you sacrifice a land seems sick. Yeah, the face on this card is weird. 
So I think I would I would put a couple of drill bits back on the sideboard because I like I liked drill bit in the other board. So I think I think I would make the sideboard look something like this. And then I was pretty happy with the main deck. Maybe Midnight Reaper is bad. I don't I don't know really. These could be if I felt like I was gonna play against more aggro, the straight red black build. We played some Bone Crushers in the main deck of, and I could, if I could spell Bone, we played some Bone Crushers in the main deck of, I could see Bone, ugh, I could see Bone Crusher being better than Midnight Reaper in some configurations. So I could, I could see this being, this being right, because this is a removal spell that once binds two, so this could also be okay. But I do think I would try this deck with Once Upon a Time again, and I would just cut, I would cut the, uh, the, the green cards from the sideboard so I can play fewer shock lands. I'm playing Cruelty in the sideboard because Wicked Wolf is tricky. I actually really like that suggestion. That That's a card that like tags Wicked Wolf a lot of the time. I could, I could see that. Like maybe I'm going up a red cat melee. I could do, could do something like that. I don't know if I like this act of treason. Let's do, let's do that. I'll upload this list with these changes to Stream Decker now for people that want it. So it'll be posted on Stream Decker here in just a second for the changes after that league. If you missed any of that league, we had a great set in all that league. Um, And then remember, I'm going to be done for a day. I'll be back tomorrow at uh, 7 a.m. Central Standard Standard Time. Um, if you're a non-sub, a great way to support my cats, I'm going to do one more ad roll before I send off for the day, but otherwise I'll, uh, I'll catch all y'all tomorrow. Have a, have a good one, folks.